Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Marielle, and today I'm gonna be reacting to another anime reaction because I love anime and I want that on my channel. The biggest overkills in anime. First overkill. And whenever I think of overkills, this is probably one of the top five things to pop in my mind. It's our boy Madara from Naruto Always. picking some kage. Ugh, his man. When they hyped the introduction of Madara, we did not expect it to reach this ridiculous level. Like until this point, everyone was thinking Toby was Madara, and he was really strong and flexed on the kage in the past. Now I would say that when Toby invaded the Five Kage Summit and declared war on all of the kage, that was a huge flex. Toby. Can we just talk about the switch that Toby did from when he was just known as the dude from the Akatsuki? He literally was this playful, kind of, I liked him as a character, you know, to then the major switch to being actually uh, Obito and just that funniness that you've seen before is no longer there it's just like now i'm serious let's get to it because now it's about to go down that switch was crazy to me i was like whoa i kind of like toby like he was cool i was like damn where he go you know flexed on the five kage but madara overkilled them Hell yeah. when you actually look at the fight that went down between madara and the shinobi alliance it was much more than just a flag it in fact was an overkill he started off just popping in to this massive swath of ninjas thousands of ninjas bruh and he beat them all with taijutsu now i would say that since as we know ido tensai reincarnations have an infinite amount of chakra up to the base level of the caster of the ido tensai he could have technically dropped the meteor without worrying about chakra preserved but you want to talk about overkills that's fighting the kage he was toying with them and went way further than he needed to he drops a meteor and then he drops the second meteor he did not need the second meteor literally he just run in there but that's not even close to what i'm getting to i think that one of the biggest flexes in all of naruto was when madara actually told all the kage all right guys you've been fighting for a good few minutes until this point you just let me know do you want all of my wood clones to also make susanos or not to which uh the kage all collectively chat themselves because that is a terrible idea for them <laughs> they were having a hard enough time with the wood gloves without the susanos damn it yeah topple on one of the most broken jutsus in the entire series onto every single wood clone yeah that might have thrown the problem mother is suggesting to the kage that they should let him know if he should use the susanos that's a huge leg overkill i really know perfect please susanos. don't we all but again i do not want to spend this entire video just talking about madara's overkills i don't want to talk about some other overkills as well and fam uh, i'm just getting started bro because another overkill was oh. jason versus kaneki from the final episode one of, of the tokyo best Ghoul fights season one. So ever you want to hear a huge flex a huge flex is me telling you that tokyo ghoul season one is two and then subsequently telling you that tokyo ghoul season three season two and season four are all garbage in that order <laughs> there just flexed on in the entire fandom of tokyo ghouls who mindlessly swarm after a series that got the worst adaptation treatment of all time this is so sad kaneki versus jason though that was over after Jason was complete overkill Kaneki for quite a while and we all wanted Kaneki to get his just desserts he fought Jason he was doing a bang up great job he was destroying him and after beating Jason where Jason had absolutely no chance of survival and it was all over Kaneki went the extra steps to really make him feel defeated as Kaneki walks up I mean sorry to pause while he's talking but I feel like it was necessary because if you saw like what he did to him and how psychologically damaging that was for Carnegie, the and the way they showed it to have him like you can physically see how traumatized Carnegie was with this whole experience by having his hair turn white because of the stress and the trauma that he was facing because of Jason. So in my opinion, it was needed. Like I making him count and cracking his knuckles fire and then the theme song music rolled in by the way one of the best anime theme songs to ever live don't fight me on this it's so true amazing when that hit i was like i got chills like that's literally one of my favorite fighting scenes ever 
opens up to him and starts hacking away at his body on the ground, and he's writhing in pain. Kaneki says, yo, bro, what's a thousand minus seven? The very same torture mechanic that Jason used on Kaneki. Now, this is a huge flex. The overkill is how wild Jason, this absolute monster psycho serial killer, while he's counting in the same torturous Scary. fashion that he forced Kaneki to do right before, Kaneki gave in to his cool side and ate him alive. That Dude. was overkill. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, this is going to be a shorter video because in general it's 18 minutes. So I don't know how you guys feel about long videos. So if you guys want to see the full video, the link will be down in the description box below. Please go check it out. It was a great video. Um, but yeah, the ones that I did show here, biggest flex in my... Oh, not flex, overkill. Overkill, yes. Madara goes in for no reason. Like, he is the show-off king, in my opinion. Like, this guy is, like, if I have the ability, I might as well use it. Like, I I did not learn all this. I did not achieve this greatness to not show you what I can do. And the Kanagi one, I really, really feel like that one was needed. Because the Madara one, definitely not. Like, at all. Especially going into that battle, just doing straight taijutsu to the regular soldiers, to the regular ninjas. Come on. Now we all know that the regular ninjas were just there to fill space. Like, they aren't strong at all. But then the way he bodied the kages, I was like, oh, damn. The kages, really? Put some respect, but whatever. Uh, Kanagi... That one has to be one of my favorite battles ever to be shown in anime history because of the simple fact that the way they did it and then the how he cracked his fingers, the music coming in, the transformation from his hair, that and having and seeing how he's dealing with it psychologically because we saw how he was dealing it with it in his head we saw how he deal with it in person and then it was just wraps for jason and yeah i'm glad he did that to jason because jason was an asshole <sighs> but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video please remember that this will be down in the description box below go so show some love and sorry that i'm not showing the whole thing it's super long um but if you guys want me to do any more please let me know down in the comment section below i'll see you guys in the next video